I was always very confused as to what I wanted to go into because I had a lot of sides to me, as it were. Um, I was very, very creative, but also seen as academically able, so I didn't know what avenue to, to sort of pursue. Well, I came to this sixth form not the best academically, and neither as a person, I wasn't that confident, but coming to Burntwood and um, speaking to many of the teachers, the team here, yeah, um, I felt like they improved my confidence a lot. I applied for something called the K-Class. Um, it's a course held at King's. They do it for so many different courses. They have medicine, they have dentistry, you know, just science in general. And I knew I wanted to do science because I enjoyed it. Um, so I thought, why not? Let's, let's pursue that. And I did and I enrolled. I'm Lizzie King and I'm responsible for a lot of the careers and work related learning that we do here at Burntwood School. It's really, really important for students to, to see role models from the working world um, because by understanding the relevance of their learning for their future, it's, it's very, very motivating. A good careers programme is, is one that broadens horizons and builds confidence and that fuels ambition. Coming into the sixth form, I didn't really have a straightforward plan going into the future, but speaking to the careers advisor, um, she gave me all the possible options that I could have. Her giving me the support that I needed allowed me to choose the best possible way me go, of me going forward, whether it be apprenticeship or university. We understand that the world at the moment is incredibly, for our teenagers, incredibly pressurised. They're under a lot of pressure as soon as they come into the school gates, come through the school gates. We want to make sure that this is a place where they feel comfortable, where they feel nurtured, where they feel that they can be valued as individuals. I think we do a tremendous job here of listening to our students, of making sure that we hear what they've got to say about how they want the place run, about how um, they feel it's best to get the best out of them. And I think it's that listening to our students um, that enables us to give them the support that they need. My favourite subject is probably photography. I've always been into art and quite a lot of my family are artists and um, I was thinking about going to UAL, University of the Arts, um, to study something like illustration or fashion photography just because I find them really fascinating. But I'd also like to study English and I found some really great courses because the careers advisor at school has shown me so many websites about where to find the best courses. So I found courses like English with film or English with art that uh, I find really interesting. Being a high achiever, I decided to take four A-levels and not many students do it in year that would, but they, um, seeing my GCSE results, they were very open to me trying and they actually pushed me saying, if you want to do four, go for it. Like, you have to challenge yourself. I'm Hannah Dyson. I was at Burntwood from year seven to year 30 and I studied maths, further maths and chemistry. I left with two A stars and an A and I'm now at Warwick studying maths. I definitely knew that I wanted to do a degree when I came to the sixth form, but I quickly realised that wasn't going to be veterinary science. I couldn't do the six months working in an abattoir, so I decided that I would have to find something else and I had just found my love for maths doing the further maths course and I didn't I didn't expect to enjoy it that much it just kind of popped up in my life I was like oh this is actually quite fun I could I could I could do this I could do this for three more years so I knew that that's what I wanted to study and the school were very good at giving me the support to achieve that. I can really empathise with that experience of, of being 16 of having all of those opportunities open to you not perhaps quite knowing where you want to go but knowing that you want to achieve something knowing that you that you want to do really well and I think it's our job to make sure that we listen to our students that we find out where it is they want to go to and we make sure that we get them there.